this recipe, you are going to need a third of a cup of coconut, four eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, three quarters of a cup of milk, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. First thing you're gonna do is mix all of your liquid ingredients together. So crack your eggs into your vanilla, and then pour your milk into your eggs and vanilla and give it a good whisk, or you can use a fork. Just blend it all together really nicely. Once you get all of this mixed together, go ahead and add your cinnamon. Continue to mix. It may take a moment, but it will mix in and together. Add your coconut, and then your batter is ready to go. The bread that I will be using today is the King's Hawaiian Sweet Bread. This is so delicious. It's perfect for French toast because it's a little bit sweet, and it's cut like Texas toast, so you get amazing big, thick slices. Give it one good mix and mix in between dunking. Give your bread a good dunk, and then add it to your greased pan. Once the French toast has been on there for a little while, and I don't know about you guys, but every time I make French toast, I drop my utensil in. But once it's been in there for a little while, give it a flip and then continue to let it cook. Once it's cooked through, you are ready to top it with your sauce. For your sauce, I am using peanut butter and coconut cream. This is the coconut cream I'm using, and I'm using equal parts. I've got about a half of a cup of each in my pan. Mix these together on medium heat until they are completely blended together and melted. Now the coconut cream is not necessary. You could just use a regular creamy peanut butter. However, I think that makes the peanut butter so fluffy and so delicious that it's just a taste of its own. I like to add a little bit of salt to this because I'm using an unsalted peanut butter, but that is up to you. This would also be a good time to add some sugar if you would like to sweeten it up a little bit. You could throw in a little bit of powdered sugar and make it a sweeter peanut butter if you desire. Again, not necessary, you can always add something later. But as you can see here, it's nice and it's fluffy and it's thick and it is so delicious. So once that's done, you can spread it on to your slices and then add some sliced up banana. From there, I top it with coconut and cinnamon. If you don't like your things very sweet, it'll be perfect just this way. If you like it to be a little bit sweeter, like traditional French toast, definitely add some syrup. Or if you're like my kids, you can add some powdered sugar. Not only does it make it a little more aesthetically pleasing, but it is delicious. My kids also like to take two slices of this and fold it together and make a sandwich. This is the way they've been eating it and they've been absolutely loving it. As you can see here, my son is a big fan. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.